My name is Justin Wasnich. I'm the Director of Aviation Policy at the Tourism and Transport Forum Australia. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining Breaking Travel News. We heard from Willie Walsh on the Aviation Forum this morning about air passenger duty and the damage that's doing to the UK economy. But you would argue that the Australian uh, situation is even worse. Perhaps you could bring us, our viewers up to date with that. Yeah, the, the UK's departure tax, the air passenger duty, gets singled out um, for a lot of bad press, and indeed it is a terrible tax. But um, perhaps worse in some ways is the Australian departure tax, the passenger movement charge. Because it's a flat tax, it's, um, it's 55 Australian dollars, which is about $57.50 US. Um, flat tax, regardless of where you're traveling. So you can travel from uh, Dallas, Fort Worth to Sydney, which is about uh, 15,000 kilometers, or you can travel from Darwin to Dili in, in East Timor, which is about 700 kilometers, and you pay the same amount. You pay $55 Australian. And not only that, but it's, it doesn't distinguish by um, class of travel. So if you're um, traveling on a business class fare or first class fare, you pay five, $55. And if you're traveling on a low cost airline, you still pay 55. And um, um, how would you advise the situation be rectified? A complete abolition of the tax? Um, a complete abolition of the tax would be a good thing. However, um, again, one of the themes of this conference was to be realistic in what you ask for. Um, the passenger movement charge was brought in in Australia to pay for customs, immigration and quarantine. Um, we now know that that costs the government about $20, which leaves the, the other $35 going into consolidated revenue. So what we're asking for the Australian government to do, and we're asking for the, the support of, of, world, uh, of the global tourism industry, is actually to reduce the cost of the, uh, of the tax back to the cost of provision of the service. Do you think the World Travel and Tourism Council is an important forum for getting this message out to, to governments, the Australian governments and to governments around the world? Absolutely. I mean, we, we, we do know that um, there has been some subtle, subtle shift in the UK's position. For example, Northern Ireland has been allowed to devolve its, its tax raising power. Scotland may follow. And that's because of pressure. Now, Australia doesn't currently f face any pressure. Um, it's not even known about that it is the second, world, second worst uh, departure tax in the OECD overall. And it's the, the first worst in, in terms of short haul travel. Nobody knows that message. So we need to get that message out there to heap sort of some, some, some shame and some opprobrium on the Australian government, which is all part of the, the campaign, really, to get it reduced back to the cost of provision. Okay, well, thank you very much for those interesting points, and we'll hopefully uh, see you next year and see how it develops. Thank you very much.